Let's learn about work. Work is equal to force times distance. And we can think of that force as either a unit of pounds, or we can think of that force as a mass times acceleration, which would give us a unit in Newtons. Now in my example here, we are given feet and we are given pounds. So we are gonna be looking at force as a unit of pounds. And we're also gonna be looking at work then in foot pounds. Knowing your units is really, really helpful to setting up the integral. Speaking of the integral, the formula that I've got right here for work is really if we have a fixed force or a fixed weight. In this case, we've got a rope in the first example. And in the second example, I've got a rope with a box attached to it. So that rope varies in weight. The longer the rope, the heavier the rope is. When my force or weight varies, we need some calculus. So work becomes the integral of force dx, dx being the distance. So as I continue to look at this example, I'm gonna be focusing on lifting the rope only first, and then we'll get to the rope and weight. Let's start by putting the force together for our rope. We really need force to be a unit of pounds, but what we are given, instead of just a weight, we are given this weight density, two pounds per foot. That makes a ton of sense, right? Because the longer the rope, the heavier it's going to be. So I can start to put this force together by taking two pounds per foot, but I know that I need the unit of force to be in pounds. So I'm gonna multiply this times the length of the rope. As I'm pulling it up, the length of the rope changes. So the length of the rope is going to be X. So times X, that will also be in feet. So we end up with a force of two X. And I know that's gonna work out because my unit is in pounds. We also need those limits of integration. X refers to the length of the rope that's being pulled up. I know that my building is 50 feet high. So as I look at the length of rope, I can see that at the very bottom of this rope here, I need to move that up 50 feet or I'm taking the entire length with it. And at the very top here, I only need to move this, well not at all, because it's already at the top zero feet. Those are my limits of integration. So work becomes the integral from zero to 50, two X dx. Just a quick check on units, two X, we've got that one in pounds and dx is going to be the change in X. So that's gonna be in feet and we're gonna get foot pounds when we are done. Let's go ahead and integrate this and we will have the work done for the rope only. Taking that integral, work is equal to, I get two and then the integral of x is gonna be x squared divided by that new variable two. So x squared divided by two. And we'll be evaluating that from zero to 50. But I've got those twos there so I can cancel those. So what I really wanna do is to take that super nice antiderivative of x squared evaluated from zero to 50. We end up with 50 squared minus zero squared, and that gives me 2,500. My units are right here. Those are in foot pounds. So I can go ahead and say foot pounds. Next, we're gonna add the weight to the bottom. In this example, I've got the rope that I'm lifting to the top of the building, but I've also added this weight at the bottom. So I really wanna think about this work problem as two separate pieces. So I've got the rope plus the box. Well, we just did the rope. Everything here is the same. That rope had a variable weight, right? The longer the rope, the heavier it was. This one was a variable weight or force. So we ended up using that integral 0 to 50, 2x dx, and we ended up with 2,500 foot-pounds here. Now the box is a different story. The box is not a variable weight. It doesn't matter how high I have lifted it, it still weighs 20 pounds. So that box is a 
fixed force or a fixed weight. So when I do this calculation, I'm just going to use the formula force times distance. I don't need the integral because it's fixed. So that's gonna be force times distance. Let's go ahead and finish this one through. So work is equal to force, which is given to me in pounds. That's the weight of that box, 20 pounds. The distance is how high I've got to lift this. I've got to lift this box 50 feet. So I am going to end up with the correct units of foot pounds. 50 times uh, 20 is equal to 1,000 foot pounds. The total work done then is the work needed to lift that rope plus the work needed to lift that box, which is going to be that 2,500 plus 1,000. And we're going to get our 3,500 foot pounds. Take a look at this next video. It's also going to help as you're working through these. Thanks so much for watching.